In our last video, we saw the second derivative test for local extreme values. I thought we'd use this example, where I'm asked to find any extrema for y equal x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. So my first step, I'll take a first derivative and use that to find any critical points. 3x squared minus 6x, set that equal to 0, because I have a polynomial, there are not going to be any places where my derivative doesn't exist. I can factor out a 3x. That gives me two critical points. The derivative is equal to 0 at both x equals 0 and x is equal to 2. So now, instead of doing a first derivative test number line, I'm just going to investigate what is true about concavity at these two critical points. So I need a second derivative. And I'll just evaluate the second derivative at these two x's. So y double prime of 0 is minus 6, and y double prime of 2 is positive 6. At the critical point 0, I get that concave down shape which means at x equals 0, I have a local max. At x equals 2, the second derivative is positive, which means there's that concave upward shape, which means there's a local minimum. And that's actually how I always think about the second derivative test for local extreme values. I always draw a little diagram indicating whether I have that concave up shape, excuse me, concave up shape or concave down shape. The concave down shape puts the value I'm looking at at the top, and the concave up shape puts it at the bottom. And that way I'm always just looking at a picture of what my graph should look like near the critical point I'm examining.